what's going on my Lucy fans? My name is Lucy Sands and today we are on not Hermit or Bust. We are on a new world. Actually a server. This server is called Spooncraft. I have been on it preparing for recording for about a week now. So I'm a bit further along than in Hermit or Bust. I've got wings now so I can fly and all of that but I mean that's only because they were all gifts I was only gonna get up to where we were in Hermit or Bust but people gifted all of this stuff to me on my first two days and I wasn't gonna say no to a gift so I just accepted so I'm gonna give you a tour of the new base we've got stuff called beacons we've got beacons right here which, if you aren't a Minecraft fan, then you probably don't know what it is. But basically, you select it, and then down here you'll see netherite, emeralds, diamonds, gold, and iron. You put one here, and then you select the buff you want. Which, I have a bunch of beacons, so I get all the buffs right now. Over here, this will look familiar to you because this is our completed base from Hermit or Bust. The completed first floor and underground. Which I'm going to show you now. Which, it's not too much of a spectacle yet, but I do have one functioning thing and that's a super smelter. Which the input goes up here. Or no, the input go for the stuff for the well, the input goes here, the input for the fuel goes here, and then right here is the chest that all the stuff will return to. So, let me just yeet out. Over here, we got a build that I was planning on working on in Hermit or Bust. But the thing is, this is someone else's stuff. And hang on, gotta be courteous to the other players on the server. I gotta sleep right now. Okay. So that p was our bee farm design that I was planning on making. I've got it completed. I did that yesterday as of recording. So, yeah. In this video, I plan on just giving you a tour of the server real quick and everything. And this isn't working. Okay, well, I went ahead and named all of my stuff. They're after Gre Greek and Roman gods. So, if you aren't into that, you might not understand what all these things are named after and why they're named that. And I might go into it later on, but I don't want this to be a mythology lesson. So, right now, we're in the Nether Hub. This is going to get replaced soon because this server is not on 1.16 yet. So, no netherite. Although it just said netherite, that's because I'm on a 1.16 client. So, this is a spawn portal. And you got the green line where our base is. The red line, which I was heading down to show you something else. Yellow line and blue line. We're going to head down the red line right now. This is our shopping district on the server. It's called the Oasis. Now, if I can hop through the portal without lagging out too much. There we go. You can see this is chock full of shops. We're actually working on an expansion right now. So, sadly, I don't own any of these shops. I'm planning on opening up a honey shop with uh, another person on the server. Anyways, farther down here, you got the mining desert, which is actually extremely close to the shopping district. But I'm not going to show that off right now. Got to eat my golden carrots. By the way, um, you might have noticed on Hermit or Bus we were playing on easy. This is difficulty hard, so expect me to die a lot more than I did on that Let's Play. Which, this might be replacing, I don't know, let me know in the comments what you think. 
So down the yellow tunnel, we've got this. Which, excuse me, someone didn't clean up the tunnel. We got these two blocks, which lead you to different spots. Now, if I go through the portal back, excuse me, if I go through this portal over there, that'll lead me to the end, which is where the XP grinder for this is, and the mob farm that people use from their mending. I use that frequently, but I don't feel like showing it on video because it can get quite tedious. So down here, you've got cube ink, which cube ink is where the iron farm, melon, and pumpkin farm is. And farther down here, we got something that is a work in progress that I don't feel like showing you because I want it to be, uh, I want it to be in another episode. But just letting you know, I'm working on it. And it's not just me, it's the community together. So, I'm going uh, to quickly, I'm going to quickly stop the recording for a little bit and try and get someone on. So, I'm going to be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I had to get someone onto the server because I asked them if they would let me do a tour of their base or the base they're sharing with someone and they said yes so I'm going to meet them right now there they are hi bubbles ready for the tour okay go ahead and lead the way in case you're wondering why they aren't speaking, it's because I gave them the option to speak or not to, and they chose not to. Alright. So this is my first time seeing the base. I haven't seen it once before. So this is going to be kind of interesting. I need to make sure that I don't go too far ahead. Whoa, lag. Okay. Where are you? I'm getting lag. Where'd you go? Going forward until the tunnel on the side. Right here? Ye land okay so down this pit and here we are we're at the portal let's head through I'm gonna need to restock on rockets also oh thank you didn't mean to drop those. These are flight duration one, but that's fine. Okay, so that's a very big map. Very, very big. And Sir Noodles, hello. You've got Pufferfish and some others. Nero. I cannot read the rest because they're all sitting on top of each other. <laughs> okay. So, you go ahead and lead the way. ship. I wonder if that was actually a sunken one or if you just constructed it all on yourself. Oh no! There's a lot of PvP on this server. Rip. Oh, 
that's a cool rocket. That is a cool rocket ship. This is all pretty nice. A lot better than what my base is right now. I'm having extreme lag spikes though. I'm not sure what it is. If it's because I'm running both Discord and other ones. It probably is, because I haven't run Discord being on a Minecraft server and running OBS at the same time. Okay, and... Ooh! Nice place. And a boat dock? Lag? Wee! Wee! <laughs> okay, I'm done. Sorry about that. I just had the sudden urge to do that. <laughs> Boats in Minecraft are extremely fun. Whoa. Okay. So, things are... I'm going to quickly do something real quick to check something. Okay, it's not my CPU or RAM. That should, that's not causing it. It's probably the internet at the moment. People are using it. I wish we could just tack on another internet service for me to record on. This is all a pretty nice area. Sort of Wells Knight styled. It's sort of Wells Knight styled with all these builds. Yeah, well, his videos are kind of good. Is that all? I need to know before I take off and know. We can go on to the more useful builds? Okay. Lead the way. Cool fountain. I would have never thought of using this. I would have never thought of that. Okay. Whoa. So, kelp farm? Nice, nice. I need to get me one of these to feed my super smelter. I need to get one. I just don't know how to make one and Java edition. I'm trying to make sure that I don't freeze up. Okay, zombie. I'm guessing this is a villager thing. Ah! Okay, good thing I always keep water on me. Hang on, hang on. I got you. I got you. Okay, well, I always keep a water bucket on me. Get out of my inventory. Okay. So I'm guessing this is, yes, this was something I planned on doing today. I planned on doing this with someone else. The thing is they didn't get on, so I decided to make this the video instead of doing that. I'm running low on carrots. I gotta go and buy some at the shopping district. Thank you! Although it won't stack because they're not golden, it's a nice gesture, and I will, and I will thank you for it. 
I might plant some of these to create a own, my own carrot farm to sell. Okay, I'm guessing because of the sheep sounds, this is your sheep shearer. And a nice shearer it is. These are all things I don't know how to make. Which, there is a lot of stuff I don't know how to make in this game. Seriously, I'm pretty sure the only redstone I know how to make is like a hopper clock, a chicken cooker, and a sorting system. Yeah, well, I ended up watching a lot of Hermitcraft videos, and they do a lot of redstone, so I sort of learned it from them. And, oh dear lord, so many different animals. A chicken and a cat, too. I think this is worse than my animal hoarding. A half-completed castle? Well, that's nice. Oh, and your scaffolding looks like cranes building the castle. Hold on, we should probably sleep. Beds. Sleep. Pass the time. Have completed castle by Nibblecat1. Okay. S sleeping is not nearly as fast in multiplayer as it is in single player and I got sh I got tackled. Sorry! I'm sorry! Here. Grab your stuff. Did I pick up anything? No, I did not pick up anything. All of it is there. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. Anyways, this is a nice build. I like how the scaffolding blocks are used as sort of cranes and structure structuring. This is something that I probably wouldn't do if I was in the middle of making something, but I understand why people would do it. And I'm really proud that people do. Okay, so this one, line farm that we don't use That is Keck. Two more Skelly horses. Can I control? No. Okay. And is that about it? Oh no, the bee farm. Oh. Is this what Loth was talking about with the thing where you need to have a bee farm based off of a bee can you get them all away from the door I want to look in I probably shouldn't yeah and this is a auto carrot farm and potato I'm guessing on the top level Okay. Yep. Okay. So this is, I'm guessing, basic farms before you had all of that. Gotta eat. Oh, crap. 
crap, that's right, sticks are used for something else on this server for claiming. Okay, and this is... Spoon box. Ah, mind if I take a look inside of it with, with my pickaxe? Firework rockets, weirdly shaped spoon, 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 and a bunch of firework rockets. Your daily spoon moment. That's how it's done here. Okay, and if I just pick block this. Okay. So... I'm guessing mineshaft? Yeah, it certainly looks like a mineshaft. There's one more area. Okay. I'm really sorry about all the lag in this video. Okay, and where's that last section? Ah, we gotta go to the nether. Okay. Freezy Fantasy District. Okay, bring home the beacon. And holy heck, this place looks cool. This place looks awesome. That's it. Yeet. Yeet. Ah! <sighs> Saved myself. Okay. I think that's a little too dangerous for this for this butterfinger. That's a little too dangerous for me. Okay, and since that was the last section, I'm guessing that's it. Come to the bottom when ready. I already went through the nether. I'm back. I'm at the bottom. Okay, and oh, this, eat a carrot, <gasps> albino fox, oh, I haven't seen one of these before, hang on, can I feed it a carrot, no, no, can I feed it a carrot, uh, Q? Will it pick that up? It did! Oh! Ho, ho. That's so cute! <laughs> it picked up the carrot! That's so cute! <laughs> I hope I get one of these eventually. Although I'm probably gonna cage it in a glass container so I can look at it, but it can't escape. Because I feel like foxes will do that. And 
Oh my gosh, Lord of the Dogs. Not all of them have names, but Barnaby, Mittens, Squid. Is someone here a Stampy fan? Billy, Jelly, Jelly! It's Jelly! But I can tell because these are all Stampy names. Mittens, the cat, Barnaby the dog. The, you got Crystal, Rigatoni. <laughs> okay, over here. You got Marie, Luna, Garfield, Stampy. See, I knew it! I knew it! <coughs> Torvash? <laughs> Fedashini? <laughs> These are getting really weird. Orphila, Patricia, Bumbo, Cactoni, Josephine, Phoenix. Okay, now I'm looping back. And Marmalade. <laughs> okay. And now if I just head over in this direction. Hold on. Whoa! That is cool. And, ah, nibbles. Nibble. Okay. And I'm guessing there's a uh, upcoming expansion over here. Okay. And then over here, you've got storage which is all empty, but the scaffolding and barrels kind of makes it look like a keg. Yeah, this looks like a keg. A bunch of kegs of no-no juice. All right. And is that about it? One last room, okay. I'm sounding really impatient here, but <laughs> I just need to keep asking because I don't know this base at all. All right. So, bulk storage, just random chest spam. Your chest monster is growing nicely. <laughs> A little vine farm. Ah, this is why you don't use the actual vine farm. It looks cool though. I gotta say, this is. I might do every other episode a base tour. But this base is definitely a good one. I would gladly live in this base, IRL. Unfortunately, it's just a game, so I can't. Ooh. I can help you out with getting all this water going down. Okay, when coming over here, I didn't think I would actually help finish this, but I want to see this in its full glory. Okay. So it's all finished and 
All right, and I'm just gonna quickly borrow a piece of that from my water bucket. So that's it. Okay, thank you, Bubbles. I'm going to head on my way now. All right, slash spawn. No problem. Okay. So, I'm going to hop out of the VC now. So, I'm going to cut the video here and I will continue going in a second. All right, guys. So, I think that's going to be it for this video here. So, let me know what you think. Should this replace Hermitor Bust be a new series that gets updated more frequently? Or should this just be a one-off video? Because I kind of planned on it being a series, but honestly, it's up to you guys. So, let me know down in the comments what you think, and I will see you guys next time.